Hello guys and welcome back to another edition of Genie's Inside Story Interviews. Today we are joined by the lovely... Ija, hi lovely, everyone. Lovely Ija. So Ija, uh, we're just going to ask you a few questions today. So first and foremost, you know, tell us a bit about yourself. Where are you from? What type of music do you make? Yeah, so I'm from China, but I'm living in the UK. So I make like a kind of Chinese slash East Asian, East Asian world fusion music. Yeah, I like to explore my uh, musical identities through connecting my traditional roots with like fusion, electronic, indie pop projects. Yeah. Lovely, I love it. I like that. I like that. That's quite new. I've never heard that before. And okay, so what a bit? What tell us a bit about your influences? What got you into music in the first place? And you know, what influences the type of music you make? I know you just mentioned your culture. So tell us a bit more about that. Yeah, I mean, I come from like um, I guess a wide variety of background. I was classically trained on the piano, and then I studied composition. But then I was also learning traditional Chinese folk music, and then I had like a sh pop career in China when I was 16. So it's like all of that thing in one melting pot. And then for me, music is just music. You know, I like breaking through the boundaries of genres, and then just creating like art and what touches people. I like, I like breaking through genres. I like that mixing everything together like the music music isn't one type of thing it's a mixture yeah, of exactly. things exactly yeah, yeah very exactly. definitely i like that and um what inspires you you know when you're trying to create your songs you know what is your creative process and what gets you you know really thinking and gets the juices flowing yeah, so I like to be inspired by different cultures and music traditions from across the world. Um, I went to SOAS, University of London, and I was exposed to a wide range of musical traditions outside like the, um, I guess, Western music you've seen. And I was just amazed at like how much diversity there are and how little we are exposed to these kind of music cultures. So for me, I really like to kind of, you know, uh, bring in diversity to music, you know, culturally and musically and in terms of genres. Yeah. Diversity is a major inspiration for you. Exploring different genre types, I love that, I love that. And also, which one of your songs that you've made and produced, you know, would you say is your personal favorite and why is that? Um, so I have a song called Willow Flowers. Um, it's on my SoundCloud and YouTube. It's not on Spotify yet. I'm still trying to wait for the right time to release it. But yeah, so I basically wrote it as a tribute to my grandfather, um, and he was basically like a bit advocate, big advocate for traditional Chinese literature and culture. But um, sadly, when he passed away to, um, a few years ago, I wasn't able to kind of appreciate the beauty of traditional culture. And I've really um, learned to appreciate it now, you know, the older I become, and as, especially after I've left China, and I realized how much you know cultural identity how important cultural identity is when you're in like you know a place like london where it's so diverse and when you feel somewhat alienated from the mainstream culture um yeah so for that song i use like a mixture of traditional chinese pentatonic scales with some other kind of like influences that i've had like i've learned you know throughout my music education from different genres yeah and i'm really excited for it to be out <laughs> That sounds good. I look forward to hearing that. I definitely have to hear that. And um, what would you say are your future goals? So in the next three to five years, where do you hope to see yourself? You know, what's the main like, main goal in the end? Yeah, so basically in the next few years, I really want to be able to, um, yeah, really just develop my music and let more people hear it and really just be able to connect a bridge between like China and the UK slash the West because recently um, yeah like in terms of the Western music scene there's actually very little representation of Chinese musicians yeah in like the Western slash UK music scene and I really want to like help diversify that um, yeah and then within China there's hasn't been that much kind of um, exposure you know with or a kind of like communication with like you know the UK slash the Western world so yeah so I'm looking forward to being that bridge. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I look forward to seeing that bridge as well. That'll be amazing, definitely. So, well, uh, thank you so much for that interview. I'm Ija, and I'm a genius.